I did it again, you guys. I left the light on all fucking night. <laughs> Still makes me laugh every time I see it. I got all these uh, advertisements from Wendy's and Steak and Shake. I'm a connoisseur, y'all. I'm a connoisseur of crap. <laughs> that nobody else wants. I pity people that can't appreciate things like this. Because there's novelty to it. You know? Just like there's a novelty to, uh, you know, all the stuff that I have that reminds me of my past. You know, maybe my past wasn't so good, but it's still mine, you know? I love the fuck out of jazz, you guys. I can't stress this enough. Like the way that I want to live my life. Is a fucking jazz record. I can't really explain that to people that don't appreciate it. I mean, I think there are plenty of really good musical genres out there. But there's just this sort of novelty, this nostalgia. And jazz is complicated, but it's very simple at the same time. Oh God, you can't, you can't just sit out here, you're gonna start crying. I know, dude. <laughs> you guys like this? Getting my Asian on. See? Asians do this shit. You're just leaving the car on. Yeah, man. Sometimes I, I fantasize about the government coming and confiscating all this. And I'm like, what are they gonna do with all this shit? Can you imagine them confiscating your Christmas tree because it's offensive? Can you imagine them confiscating that mattress? Can you imagine them confiscating this Bacardi metal memorabilia? Can you imagine them confiscating this Budweiser thing? <laughs> Cardboard cutout, Amy. Yes, yes. Government's gonna take that. <laughs> Can you imagine them confiscating this therapist chair? We just read about uh, Joseph Stalin. Man, oh man, was he ruthless. You think Kamala Harris could be that ruthless? We'll find out soon, won't we? I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be that serious, man.
I mean, even if it is, like, fuck it, you know. Let's have a good time. I need to finish my song. Getting used to the gulag. <laughs> so I have all these little jangles. Little jangles about pink okamis. Got a, got a bunch of little jangles about Bolsheviks. Like you gotta make light of it, or you'll just be completely sucked in to the darkness. Like the majority of people on the internet, they keep quoting the Book of Revelations and doomsday, 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 doomsday. Oh god! You just wanna fuck it, and you can't. You can't do that through the laptop. I wish I could. I wish I could suck myself in to their smartphone because I know they're on the smartphone and just fucking bust through their phone and just choke them to death that's what I want to do that's what I want to do because <laughs> they're just so annoying you know and, and you have to stumble upon these people so like you can't avoid these people because it's just they have to make their presence known Just so they can purposely freak out everybody. Not to say that we shouldn't take some of this stuff seriously. I mean, I mean, I know that it is, but at the same time, it's like, what are we supposed to do? And how are we supposed to do it? I just try to avoid the stuff that I don't like. I, I try to avoid the technology. I try to avoid the internet. You know, like, I live my life. Unfortunately, though, with this YouTube thing, I, I kind of have to be on the internet. It's kind of like how it works, you know. But I just gave my friend Tyler the USB. It's got some of my videos on it, so... We'll just see what happens with that. But yeah, I, I really hate the internet, though. I absolutely hate it. And the fact that so many people, like, choose to be on it the majority of the time is just so disturbing to me. And I'm tired of people saying, well, it's the way of the world. That doesn't make it right, and that doesn't make it good. <laughs> 